my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What did you YouTube? My name is Bear Witness and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the BO4 update that comes out on Tuesday. If you guys didn't know, there is a ton of free content from a new specialist to three new weapons along with blackout updates and as well as a reduction and a change to the supply stream, battle pass, whatever you guys wanna call it. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today, guys. Now, first things first, they're going to be reducing the supply stream to instead of 200 tiers, 100 tiers. Now, what I wanna initially talk about is the two possibilities that could be happening with this reduction. Now, the first thing is that leveling could be faster and easier. In fact, it was actually pretty easy itself when playing blackout and things like that i barely noticed that i was actually leveling in general but i would level six or seven times basically because blackout was a fun way to be playing and the longer you survive in blackout the more xp you get now it's not a direct actual percentage or like blackout helps you gain more xp but you're spend, spending more time in the game and because you're spending more time in the game you're using all of that time you, to gain xp to get your tiers instead of you know going through lobbies and stuff like that now the only bad part about it is that while you're spectating you actually don't get any xp for that so that's pretty stupid sometimes people like to play multiplayer sometimes to play blackout but i noticed that when i'm playing blackout i'm just having fun and it was very easy to level but that's me rambling next up guys the second option could be that they could slow progression. Now, it being a AAA game and them all about being all about making money, they generally might actually go after this. And the problem with this, there's a problem and there's a good thing about it. Now, the problem with it is that it's actually going to, like there's basically no point in reducing it if you're still going to be having to work just as hard just to get those 100 tiers. Now, with that, if they can slow it down so much that it actually feels like you guys are gonna have to be using microtransactions in order to even complete the battle pass. This is very no bueno and this is something that we don't actually want. Now, what is something, there is a kind of a pro to that con and what is that is that in this situation, those items that you get, those cool items, those will seem more rare. Those will become more important. And everybody, uh, as we've seen with like Fortnite and stuff like that, and Skull Trooper and like OG skins and stuff like that, everybody likes to have that rare thing that not all players get. That kind of solidifies is the fact that they actually have been playing the game they've been having fun they've been grinding but they've really worked hard to get this item so it's a cool thing and a bad thing the reason why i'm talking about this at length is because of the fact that it is a high potential thing that it could actually happen based on the fact that you know with the reduction they kind of have to make it a little bit more difficult so leaning towards the slower progression is probably what we could go ahead and expect but this video is all about what could potentially happen so we don't have this but my solution to them slowing down the progression and the possible backlash that could happen from that is that they add a weekly like weekly challenges kind of like the ones that are already in fortnite i make a lot of comparisons to fortnite based on the fact that you know we can't you know we can't deny that the battle pass type of um you know dlc or content creation is kind of like they got that from fortnite like a lot of games do it so nobody's hating on them for it it's a good idea in theory but in order to do this i think you should take another homage to you know fortnite and you should go ahead and add the weekly challenges now with this it gives a little bit of a boost to the players that you know can't necessarily play people have family people have work people have you know things to do people have girlfriends and stuff like that so they they have these situations where they cannot play as much as some people that actually play a lot so because of that this gives them a little bit of a boost so they're not all the way back at the beginning of the game or the beginning of the line it also gives players uh that kind of feeling that they're not being wined and dined they're not being scammed out of like actually getting anything and they're able to have fun and you know just generally enjoy the game knowing that they have next week's challenges to do and this could be stuff like get five kills with a flamethrower and stuff like that so although it seems very difficult i don't feel like it is they can even space it out between zombies blackout and black ops 4 i also think that it should be proposed that there is a system in the game that's kind of like a um you know anything like a like a, a kind of like a login bonus like, I feel like a login bonus would be dope. You know, maybe you get an emote or a sticker. Not Maybe not an emote. An emote's a little much. But a sticker or an emblem piece. And when you combine all of those, like, or when you get 
the like six days worth of them at the last day you get like 35 cod points you know that adds up slowly you know people can spend that on whatever they want to but it really feels like they're giving back and i feel like that'll be a way to calm people down from you know the whole black ops past debacle that happened and i really feel like that would be something that a lot of players enjoyed and it would keep players coming back it would keep the numbers consistent but if you guys have any ways or any discussions that you guys want to have in the comment section below, we can totally have a discussion about this. I am so very curious to see what the Call of Duty community has to say about what they could possibly do in the supply drops tomorrow, as well as hoping that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my Call of Duty content. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.